Today on Nerd Out, the Noom Pass Delegator Airdrop. Welcome back to Nerd Out, the show where we take a look at Cardano, we break it down, but we don't dumb it down. Today we are talking about the Noom Past Delegator Airdrop. So at Project Noom, we, we have a stake pool that started way back in Epoch 235, and we have decided to reward some of those early delegators with, with an airdrop of Noom tokens. And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about everything that went into this airdrop. Um, we had an amazing design team, Marcus um, and Tiziana put together all the designs for this. Uh, Cody Butts is uh, also CTO over at Indigo Labs. He put together the, uh, and he's he was an early person on the Noom team even before me. He put together the, the development behind it, and then I did the back end for the airdrop with uh, Project Firehose. So let's jump right into a demo. I've got a demo set up here for you. So this is the, the live site right now, airdrop.projectnoom.io. If you were a past delegator to the Noom pool, or back in the day it was called Muse before the rebrand, um, you may be eligible for some tokens. So go to this website, airdrop.projectnoom.io. You enter your receiving address from your wallet that you had staked with. And it will tell you how much Noom that you have accrued for all those past epochs. You can go to the claim. And then you send to ADA to unlock it. You can copy that address, paste it into, um, into your wallet, pay the fee, and then 1.34 approximately ADA is gonna come back to you with the Noom tokens. And I have this set up kind of in a fake mode right now, but um, so we'll just assume we've paid and then it'll walk us through processing. And so this whole experience was, was really cool to see it come together maxing out the gain and once the processing is complete and we could turn on the audio here and hear the noom tune but um, i'm just going to keep my own audio going for this I'm getting close to done. And our airdrop is complete. Yeah, the other reason I didn't want to do it in a completely live mode is, is that, um, you know, we have to keep the, the Noom is sacred. I can't just be willy-nilly taking Noom out of there. So that's, that's earmarked for the, the actual delegators. So I just kind of ran it through with a, a fake wallet. Anyway, let's jump back into how this works behind the scenes. That's what you're here for, the nerdy stuff. So how did we calculate the airdrop? So we decided, um, I worked with Florian Sorg, our, our CFO, um, and C, I guess he does operations as well, but he does a lot of the financial stuff. And so we've, we calculated um, how much we could reward the past de delegators for the airdrop, and we decided on a rate of uh, starting at Epoch 235 at a rate of 20 Noom tokens per 1,000 ADA staked. And then going forward every Epoch, that would get reduced by 0.2 Noom tokens per 1,000 ADA staked. All the way down until we hit a rate of 7, and we didn't really want to go below a rate of 7, all the way up until Epoch 311. And at that point, we switch over where we are today, which is having launched on drip drop. So you can go stake the Noom pool and in two epochs you'll be eligible for getting drip drops rewards. And those are dropped at a rate kind of somewhere in the middle. They're at this uh, 270 epoch 13 Noom per 1000 ADA staked. So we did raise the rate on the pool uh, to 25% fees, but then you get this higher rate of 13 Noom per 1000 ADA staked. So if you support the project, go ahead and delegate the Noom pool. So how did we get the data to actually figure out who deserved what? Uh, we used a project um, 
called Koyos.rest. Um, Koyos is another project out of the, the Guild Tools team. And the Guild Tools, they're responsible for things like CN Tools and, and other stuff. Uh, but they've built this project called Koyos. It's built on top of DBSync. And so it can get a lot of the data that DBSync has. And it's a nice REST API. So we could just query for the particular Noom pool and put in it, put in the data epoch by epoch and grab all the data of all the delegators. So you see way back in the day, we only had seven delegators to start out in that first epoch. And so that's how we gathered the data. And then I took that data and I pulled it into a SQLite database so that we can easily run queries on that. And then the, I'm going to break down this, this uh, calculation here, but this is the final calculation for which stake addresses deserved how much Noom from this whole thing. So we're going to start at the inside here, and I'll try and go a little slow through this so we can figure it out. So the first thing we do is we take the epoch number from the database. We subtract that from 235. So if the epoch is 235, of course, this is 0. Uh, multiply by... 0.2, again it's 0, 20 minus 0 is 0. So that first epoch, they get the drop rate is 20 noom. And then of course as they go down, or we increase the epochs, then it's you know 1 times 0.02, 20 minus 0.02 is uh, you know 19.8. And then what we're doing is we are taking the maximum of either that number we've calculated or 7, because remember it went down to 7 and then it's stuck at 7. So as we get into the newer and newer epochs, it'll just take the max, which is going to be 7. Then we multiply that times 1 million, because Noom has 6 decimal places. So we're, we're actually calculating Noomies here, not Noom tokens. And so we multiply that by a million. And then we multiply that by how many chunks of 1,000. So amount is the amount of ADA, or actually Lovelaces they have staked, and divide that by 1,000 ADA in Lovelaces, and then that's our multiplier that we, that we multiply. So these two we multiply together, then we're rounding, and then we have to sum all the different epochs together. So we've calculated for one epoch here, and then we, we calculate for the, the whole epoch range. And that gives us the total NUMIs that each of these wallets is eligible for. And so that's how we, how we calculated that. That data was then loaded into the, the Firehose um, airdrop system. This is the actual system that predated DripDrop. So I was already building an airdrop system before I had even joined Project Noom. And then I talked with uh, Kyle Solomon and some others out in, at the Wyoming Summit. And they're like, we have this idea for drip drops. And I said, well, I'm already building kind of the same thing. And so we, we collaborated. But anyway, this is the system I finished out before we even started building drip drops. Um, and then we, the, the Noom team came in and built a really cool user interface on top of that. So it, it, everything worked out really well for that. So what's next at Project Noom? Um, drip drops, that is already launched. You can join the Noom pool. Um, or any of our partner pools, you can do the research on dripdrops.io to figure out if there's um, the Noom pool you want to join or any of the, the partner pools. Uh, we're getting very close to our light paper release. Uh, you can think about this as kind of the high-level investor pitch deck, um, but it's also for anybody who just is interested about kind of the, the over high-level stuff we want to do at Project Noom. Uh, the white paper is still ongoing. We're getting closer and closer to release on that. I'm hoping by the end of January we'll be ready to release that. Again, all these dates are tentative. We are looking for a lead designer, preferably somebody who's in Europe. But um, go ahead and reach out to, to me or the Noom team on our Telegram channels um, if that's something you're interested in. So somebody who can lead the design team, um, preferably in Europe but not required. That just would be better time zone wise. But again, we're looking at... Um, Anywhere globally is fine. Um, also, we're looking for product team members, so people who want to look into the functionality of what we actually build and be able to work hand-in-hand -hand between 
the design team and the developer team to bring the product to life and exactly how things will operate. Um, you can reach out to our, our team on Telegram for that. Um, announcements, we are up to seven core devs already. Uh, so we've been actively hiring developers. Um, we've hired one iOS, I think a couple Android, a lot of Kotlin developers that are going to work on middleware and backend stuff, um, and then blockchain developers as well. So development has begun. You can check out our GitHub. There's not a ton there, but if you want to see some of the code for how this airdrop worked, all that code is up on GitHub as well. Um, we also recently brought on a project management lead. So Project Noom right now, it's a little bit like herding cats. Um, we've brought on a guy named RJ Burton. He's a really cool guy. He came of age in the punk rock scene in the early 80s. Um, he's got an amazing beard, amazing personality. He lives and breathes all the values that Project Noom is all about, making the music industry and artist ecosystem friendly and fair for artists. Um, so he's he's been in a few bands. Really interesting story behind him. But um, he currently is uh, doing project management and stuff at uh, Kroger, the Kroger company. But uh, he's going to come on for us part-time and help organize us from the top down. So he's going to work with the management team to help organize us. And then he's also going to work with the various uh, design development uh, product teams to help help them get organized. So he is a certified scrum master and has a bunch of credentials as well. But um, you know what I'm excited about is just that he lives in Breeley's Project Noom. So, and with that, that's all I've got for you today. Nerd out.